Welcome to Unfinished Business, a new podcast created to decode entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Liana Fricker, founder of Inspiration Space. Throughout the series, you'll learn from a cross-section of entrepreneurs who have overcome the early stages of starting a company. We want to strip back the coded language to give everyone access to the rules of the game. In this episode, we're going to teach you how to fuck the fear and fly. This is the story of Cindy Gallup, founder of Make Love Not Porn. I'm Cindy Gallup. I'm a consultant and an entrepreneur. I have two early web Depending on your circumstances, before you can take the leap into entrepreneurship, you most likely have to quit your job. In Cindy's case, she was stepping away from an incredibly successful career in advertising. Named Woman of the Year in 2003, Cindy founded and chaired the U.S. branch of iconic ad agency BBH. Her 2009 TED Talk, Make Love Not Porn, now has over 2.6 million views on YouTube. And Cindy is the founder and CEO of a company by the same name, which has grown into the world's first media platform dedicated to making real world sex socially acceptable and shareable. Yet even with more than 2 million views of her TED Talk, friends in high places and an international reputation, Cindy still struggled to raise money for her startup. How do you stay focused on building out make love, not porn and not trying to just go against the system? Like I'm feeling the rage because it's almost impossible for you to make the impact that you want to make. And when we look at things like R. Kelly and Me Too, like you say, there is such a huge need for this. This is a social service, right? And yet the whole infrastructure is making it almost impossible for you to do it. How do you stay focused on the business and not trying to just change the system? Well, um, t- um, I, um, I do both. For 12 years, I have parallel path two things, building my startup and keeping it alive and working to change the cultural context around it. Because when you have a truly world-changing startup, you have to change the world to fit it, not the other way around. And You know, you're absolutely right, Liana. It is, and I use this word deliberately, it is criminal that I cannot find investors because all of the problems I've just cited to you are all solved with money. All of those advertising barriers fall when you write them a big enough check. I can find and build my own infrastructure when investors fund me at the same level that they lavish on white bro founders building utterly trivial apps. And it's, it's criminal because this is what Make Love Not Porn has the power to do at scale as the Facebook of social sex, which is what I intend us to be. I designed Make Love Not Porn around my own beliefs and philosophies, one of which is that everything in life starts with you and your values. So I regularly ask people this question, what are your sexual values? And nobody can ever answer me because we're not taught to think like that. that. Our parents bring us up to have good manners, a work ethic, sense of responsibility, accountability. Nobody ever brings us up to behave well in bed. But they should. Because in bed, values like empathy, sensitivity, generosity, kindness, honesty, respect are as important as those values are in every other area of our lives where we are actively taught to operate them. So my vision for a world in which we finally find that enlightened investor or investors who fund us to scale is this. Parents will bring their children up openly to have good sexual values and good sexual behavior, in the same way that they currently bring their kids up to have good values and behavior in every other area of life, we will therefore cease to bring up rapists. Because the only way that you end rape culture, and this really is the only way, is by embedding in society and openly talked about, promoted, understood, operated, and very importantly, aspired to gold standard of what constitutes good sexual behavior and good sexual values. When we do that, we also end Me Too. We end sexual harassment, abuse, violence, 
all areas where the perpetrators currently rely on the fact that we do not talk about sex to ensure their victims will never speak up, never go to authorities, never tell anybody. When we end that, we massively empower women and girls worldwide. When we do that, we create a far happier world for everybody, including men. And when we do that, we are one step closer to world peace. Because right now, quite rightly, everybody is talking about consent. Everybody is writing about consent. There are lots of thoughtful, nuanced, insightful think pieces out there about consent. Here's the problem. Nobody knows what consent actually looks like in bed. The only way you educate people as to what is great consensual communicative sex, good sexual values and behavior, is by watching people actually having that kind of sex. And Make Love Not Porn is the only place on the internet where you can do that. Every single one of our videos is an object lesson. In consent, communication, good sexual values and behavior, we are literally education through demonstration.